And that's a complex answer to that question. Too many people try to put it in one box to make it a this or that answer. It's this and that and many other things. You have stated on Senate documents the stated goal of the U.S. government and multiple agencies in the U.S. government. In these documents, they state their goal of deciding where it rained too much, where it didn't rain enough, as if it's their choice to decide. As you interfere with the climate system, you do damage. And there are many other sources of anthropogenic damage as well. As that damage has mounted and manifested, now you have a great portion of geoengineering is the attempt to hide the damage already done from the population as long as possible while inflicting yet more damage in the process. We have weather warfare. We have the stated goal of not just the U.S. military, but others around the globe to, quote, own the weather for military purposes, owning the weather as a, quote, force multiplier. Why would they not want to control the weather when they can win a war without firing a shot, when they can win a war without another country even knowing they went to war? Geoengineering is the pharmaceutical cure for planet Earth. The military industrial complex keep business as usual as long as possible, hide it from the population as long as possible, use it as a weapon as long as possible. They're not about to let go. There are many layers to the why question and people need to not try to put it in one box. But I want to state this. There is no benevolence in these programs.